Hello lords and ladies, welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place to chat about all things cartoon. A few weeks back, I did a broad discussion about the latest, and if you remember, I spoke briefly about the upcoming Be Cool Scooby-Doo coming to Boomerang, and apparently Cartoon Network October 5th. Now that I've seen a promo for the show, I can finally do a first look video on it. The idea behind First Look is to do exactly what the name implies. I take a look at a trailer, a promo, or whatever, and give my initial thoughts on the show before it airs. So let's get to it. Be Cool Scooby-Doo is the 12th cartoon in the franchise, and comes after the last iteration, Mystery Incorporated, which sported a much more grim take on the series. Now, that's all been changed, and the cartoon will once again be lighthearted, or at the very least, less grim than its predecessor. Much like Mr. Incorporated, the characters' personalities will be taken from the 1969 series, but with redesigned character models. I really loved Mr. Incorporated, so I am a little bummed we'll be going right back into something less dark, as it was just a really big shake-up. Still, I fell in love with Scooby-Doo far before Mr. Incorporated came around, so I think I'll survive. Last time I talked a bit about those character designs, and I've seen a lot of hate towards it. I mean a lot. And as anyone who watched Cartoon Hangout's introduction video knows, I'm trying to not be one of those people who rages on about how the 90s were superior and everything today sucks. I'll admit the designs aren't the best thing I've ever seen, but they're not bad. It looked kinda iffy before, but now that I've seen the designs animated, they don't look quite as crappy. They're certainly different than anything that's come before, but so is the Mystery Incorporated designs. I recall people giving that a lot of crap, but now a lot of fans want that show back. Oh, how times change. Now, the promo is only about 30 seconds long, so besides an initial oppression, there isn't much to go on. The characters all talk and feel like you'd expect them to be. The designs may be different, but that's about it. The plot is most likely what you'd guess. The gang are about to graduate, so they're going on a road trip, and they end up running into monsters. That's kind of why I loved Mr. Incorporated so much. It kept them in one location and made everything feel connected. Not that there's anything wrong with the classic. I'm looking forward to seeing new monsters and even some familiar ones return. Speaking of which, the promo shows off at least two of the monsters the gang will run into. The first one appears very early in the promo and looks to be the Creeper, who first appeared in the original 1969 series. I could be wrong, as he takes on a more phantasmal appearance here, but he really does resemble the Creeper to me. If anyone else has an idea which monster it is, let me know and I'll put in an annotation later. The second monster looks to be some Egyptian crocodile pharaoh thing. I have no idea if this is a classic monster or an original one thought up for the show. So if you guys have a clue, help me out here. Like my previous Scooby-Doo video explained, most of the voice actors are the same as previous iterations of the series. You've got Frank Welker returning as the voice of Scooby and Fred, the lovely Grey Delisle as Daphne, Matthew Lillard is Shaggy, but this time around, Kate Mikuchi is voicing Velma. Also, you might recall that Lillard portrayed Shaggy in the live-action movies, and he took over the voice of Shaggy in the cartoons due to Casey Kasem's health concerns in 2009 and his eventual death last year. Essentially, I don't see anything wrong with the show so far. I know people are going to complain, especially about the gang being described as the hipsters of their world, but let's at least give the show a chance, okay? I'll most likely be doing weekly reviews when this premieres next month, so I'll be able to tell you more then. If you haven't checked the promo out yourself, I'll have a link in the video's description, so make sure to watch. Also, I've seen some people compare the designs to Family Guy, and yeah, I can see that. Thing is, I love the Family Guy designs, so that's not exactly a negative in my book. Either way, I'm excited for another Scooby-Doo show to watch. It's like revisiting my childhood, but with an upgrade. This has been my first look at Be Cool Scooby-Doo. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or a comment. I'll see you in my next Cartoon Hangout video. Take care.